You two, good blood. We kick boots now? Boom. Oh my god. That's huge dummy mommy. You're right, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures in the Wendusi. This right here is Ruza. I think it's gonna be our third episode thus far. I'm back because you guys seem to be enjoying it. Wanna see more? Cannot get enough Wendusi, Falcon. Problem? That said, people pointed out to me, Falcon, you've leveled up, but you haven't actually distributed your skill points. So I've been uh, apparently playing <laughs> from level one the entire time. It's a challenge run. So I went ahead and I distributed the points, um, health points over to attack, speed, and defense. Some to our skill. This is gonna be for Jeremy right here, and then oops, Ada's loadout over here. I think the fight should probably be a little bit easier now, considering I was rolling at level one status the entire time. What do we got here? Hmm. We got a fight against Splinter. I also did a couple of extra fights off camera just to get more acquainted with the combat. Which I do feel like now it's uh, starting to really stick to me. I think we should be able to end it with our boy here. As long as we do attack area for both of the characters right there. Yeah. So yeah, I did a couple of extra fights. It's kind of got really acquainted with it and I feel I understand it a bit more now. So we'll skip those because again, there's a possibility of items, but also random encounters, which... It's a, it's a cat. It's a cat hut. He is a little cat boy. No wonder there was a cat on top of the hut. He seems to be kind of dead, though. That was mine, Dad. I asked the same question, Ada. Uh, help me get him up. Hey, are you alright, Jen? Meowers. Jeremy, it's so good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Jen. Oh, uh, what happened? Faulty equipment. I should be more careful when buying catalysts. Let me guess. The Pixies? Yeah. Currently there's a shortage, so I bought some from the Pixies. Desperate times call for dress and measures. <laughs> oh, pardon me. You brought company. Hi, my name is... Don't touch me, you talking doormat. <gasps> Meowzers! It's Meseda! Run for your life, Jeremy! Uh, don't worry, Jin. She's not gonna... You see, I married her. So, we're good. Please don't burn my fur like last time. All right, you twerps are really starting to piss me off. Uh, Jeremy, help! Easy now, let's all calm down. I just wanted to stop by and check if everything's all right. Yeah, I'm fine now. Thanks for helping me. Oh, and before I forget, I managed to snag an extra copy of Arcanus. Here you go. Jeremy gives him a copy of a popular magazine. Oh, thanks. Did they say anything about the new tome? Oh, I got exclusive info. You're gonna love this. No way, please sit down, I'll make some tea. So basically, what they're trying to... Yeah, no, I'm out of here. And what's with you, nerd? Tea? What's next, you gonna make some doilies? You like knitting too? Don't make me hurt you, furball. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Ada, I just... D don't worry about it, Jim. I admit, I got a bit ahead of myself and... I have to hang out another time. We're in a hurry, so if you would excuse us. Finally. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I look forward to next time. I hope I can make some progress until then. The Blood Rose is one tough case. Sure. See, see it. Wait. Blood Rose? Nerd. I'm losing my patience. Oh, hold on, Ida. Just a second. Did you find anything, anything critical, Jin? Yeah. Our game properties to be exact. Uh, recently, I got a hold of some new texts. Well, truth be told, someone sent them to me. I I've been studying it for a few days now. Some interesting stuff about bindings. Bindings? Hey, did you hear that? I heard enough nerd talk for a lifetime. I already told you, I have a solution. But, but, Ada. I don't care. Fine. Be that way. We can talk while we walk. Yo, think we need another, another party member? Oh, we did! Off we go. There is a... Oh. That's not Moxie, is it? No, I don't think this. Are you alright? What's the matter? This is Lei. Oh, hello. I'm just... I... It's about my friend. She's been sent to Pinewood on a scouting mission. 
They should have been back days ago. Ugh, sob stories. Pinewood? Isn't that the safest place in the forest? Not anymore. I've heard rumors of bad things happening there lately. Oh, rest in peace. Ada! Jeremy looks at Ada and shakes his head. What? Don't worry, Pixie. We'll check on your friend. Who's we? Fine. I'll check it out myself. Oh, thank you. Her name is Claire. She has short hair and is a lumberjack just like me. The pixie activates a small green gem. There. Did she dispel any floor gates she put up? Pixie opens a small pouch and shakes it. Only a few coins roll out into her hand. I, I don't know how to repay you. I don't have much. No need. Spare change would help us. You could pay in. <gasps> oh my. Jeremy, your wife is here next to us. I mean, if you don't have the money, you, you could pay me in other ways. The pixie blushes. Oh. Alright. Just please be gentle with... Huh? Ada's Mexican-fused scribe. Hey, what was that for? A married man? For shame. Oh, you're, you're acknowledging your marriage now, too. I was thinking about payment in items or gear. Right. I was. What did you expect would happen, huh? No, come on. She's a pixie. I'm a human. That's that's wrong in so many different levels. Onwards we go. Is that an enemy I see? It's a pixie thief. Psst. Hey, over here. You guys looking for some cheap merch? Oh, you're the merchant. Yo, it's kind of giving me like, uh, you know, a merchant from Resident Evil 4 vibes. Uh, sure, why not? What do you have for sale? The pixie hands him a small paper slip. I've heard about this. It's the new trading fad everybody's talking about, right? Calling it a fad is an understatement. It makes trading less of a hassle, especially in my business. Here, let me show you. That slip contains my arcane ID. Place it on any old bag, and we can exchange goods, no matter the distance. That's pretty convenient. Looking forward to doing business with ya. Well, I mean, I got, like, money now. Can we do business now? No. What? What happened now? We're in a misty woods, by the way. Uh, something wrong, Jeremy? The scent. Now that you mention it, this place reeks of perfume. If only it were that harmless. It is indeed perfume, but it serves a far more sinister purpose. Jeremy. He's no longer Jeremy, he's now Jeremy. Scratches his head, trying to say something. Pheromones? Oh man. <laughs> I kind of like where this is going. Excuse me? This is nymph territory. It's crawling with deserters and witches. Ada grits her teeth. Uh, Miss Ada? It'll be a pleasure to clean the floors of these filthy nymph degenerates. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what we're here to do. To, uh, cl clean the floors of them. Thread lightly. They can easily call their sisters. We can be swarmed in no time. Oh, we wouldn't want that happening now, would we? I ain't afraid of some floral floozies. Uh, what's a floozy? Uh, it's it's nothing. But don't don't worry about it, Jin. Yeah, you're you're too pure for that, Jin. So nymphs, huh? Uh, let's find out. There's one here. Oh, there is. A nymph deserted. Good God Almighty! Do you have enough HP on you? <laughs> Do you think that's enough? Uh, attack. Sure. It's not too bad, I suppose. They're pretty high in attack HP. Oh man. Nymph Seductress? Yes! Uh, let's do area. Attack. And I think that took out the Seductress, more than likely. Yes, okay. Not bad. Two experience, six until the next level, and we got a Flash Fog as well. I guess if we have to level up on them, we could probably use those. Right now I think we're full. Oh my god! Oh, that's a huge dummy mommy. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Before we do that, I'm gonna go back and heal really quickly. You ready for a dead by Snoo Snoo here? 
<laughs> p p pardon us, ma'am. <laughs> we're, we're just, uh, passing by. Oh, it's the forest mother, of course it would be. You, good stature. The forest mother shifts her gaze towards Jen. Oh, she's into the Shota, is she? Small, good fluffy pelt, though. The forest mother shifts her gaze back to Jeremy. You two, good blood. We kick boots now? <gasps> I told you. But we're not wearing any boots. He's too pure for this. How dare you do this to Jin? Ma'am, I'm, I'm flattered, but we... Piss off, tramp. The big one's married and the small one's not interested. The forest mother shifts her gaze towards Ada. You threat. Oh. Oh my god. That's huge, dummy mommy. Okay, she's starting off with a buff to herself here. Juba. Okay. Oh, she got all of her HP back, so <laughs> that was worthwhile. Pheromones. Oh. Come on, they'll work on you, Ada. Oh god. Timber strike. We have an attack boost here. There we go. Oh god. We're really gonna have to do some like you know damage over time here. Let's do a little poison dart action. And augment it if we can. Alright. It's something. That poison that we put on her is doing wonders, by the way. We're almost there. As a matter of fact. Oh, Jin! Little MVP. She's down. It's over. <laughs> one more fight into a new level up. And we got some pheromones from that one, too. Oh, that was close. I don't even want to imagine. I, I actually was not completely opposed to it, you know? Ada, unfortunately, had to blue ball everyone. Okay, so we healed up. Let's go forward from where Dummy Mommy Seductors was. Now that one there is Moxie. I'm not sure if she's loaded up with booze or what's happening over here. So bored. Mo Moxie? Huh? Yay! You guys are finally here. What took you so long? Moxie, what are you doing all, all here by yourself? Why aren't you at camp? Just wanted to throw you guys a surprise welcome party before we go to camp. Surprise! Ada, maybe you shouldn't hit Moxie in the head all the time. Doubted. There's nothing to damage up there. That's not nice. Wait a second, who's that? Hello? You smell familiar. Oh yeah, you're the Barry K cat. The what now? Moxie points at Jeremy. Yeah, yeah. And that over there is the pork chop boy. Ah, oh, maybe the nerd is right. I should stop bonking her. No, I think she's referring to the food she steals from us. Moxie prefers the term borrow. Thank you very much. Just borrowing your plates for a while. It's not Moxie's fault there's food on them. But enough about little Moxie. Ada, are you ready for a girl's night out? Do I have to? Yes. The party is startled by some ruffling bushes. Who's there? Aw, oh, she likes me. Come on, Miss Ada. Don't be shy. You can pet her. I'd rather jump off a cliff. Miss Ada, that's rude. It's a majestic reindeer. Isn't she beautiful? I guess it's kind of cute. Whatever. Not fair. Mox is a cute one here. I mean, she's a short stag, so I guess she's not wrong about being cute, right? What's up with you, nerd? Don't tell me you're afraid of reindeers. Oh. <laughs> if you only knew. Um, I'm good. Don't bully the paper boy. He knows what Moxie is superior. Jeremy, don't be afraid. She won't hurt you. You can pet her, see? Oh, I... I see her, alright. The 
Thanks, but I'm good. Don't worry, it's just a harmless. Jeremy, are you alright? You look a bit pale. Uh, nerd, this is pathetic, even for you. I'm, I'm just a bit tired. How about we take a short break, Moxie? Finally. Fine by me. Now that we visited the petting zoo, can we finally get a move on? Uh, excuse me, can can you guys go out and without me? What's wrong? I, I want to pet the reindeer, but I'm a bit shy. Uh, sure, no problem. Silly paper boy. Yikes. Thanks, guys. I'll catch up in a moment. Get over here, Ruza. Master, I'm so happy to see you. Jeremy rubs his face in an annoyed manner. What are you up to these days, anyway? Oh, you know, this and that. Would this and that upset me, perhaps? Ruza gasps in a comic tone. I would never. Seriously, I would never. At least not on purpose. Listen, I found a way to break the chain. After that, I will... Wait a second, why am I explaining myself to you? You're warming up to me. Admit it. Why do you bother me? You know the answer to that. It's not a good reason to bother someone. But you're not someone. You're... You're my... Boyfriend. Ruza hides her face while blushing uncontrollably. I am not. There's no need to hide your feelings. We're alone after all. Rusa's body liquefies and emerges from the ground in front of you. I'm ready, Master. For what? You know. Forget it. Master, please. Jeremy looks to the side. Master. Rusa, do you remember that time when I painted a picture of you? That was the second best day of my life. Jeremy scratches his head. What was the first one? It's when she met you, you ding-dong. Ruza looks at Jeremy with a bright smile as she twirls her hair. Ruza? That's a secret. But enough about that. Please do continue. I just wanted to ask. Do you know why I painted that picture? Because you like me? No. Rosa jumps. Master. Master, not fair. Don't tease me like this. Why did you paint it? That, that's a secret. Well, <laughs> come on, dog. Maybe this will brighten your mood. Jeremy starts spinning her hair. Ah, uh, yes, it does. Jeremy smiles for a moment, then pinches himself. No, st stay focused, Jeremy. Jeremy switches to, to her ear and gently scratches it. Don't stop. Who's a good? Oh, you smiling. Jeremy slaps his mouth shut. Master, why did you stop? Uh, Rosa, I'm sorry, I have to go. Ta-da, here we are. Welcome to the Pixie Camp. No need to take your shoes off. Someone will probably steal them anyway. It's probably you. The hot springs are just to the left here. Since a girl's only hot spring, you guys can grab a drink at the pub there. All right, let's go. Ada and Moxie, away. Oh, lucky me. I thought we were going to get some hot spring action with the girls. Moxie is one strange girl, but she's got a lot of heart. Yeah, she's more bark than bite. Ada, on the other hand. Right. What happened, Jeremy? Why are they bothering you? I have a few theories, but to make matters worse, we 
got into a fight at the ancient shrine and... Jeremy realizes he's about to say what he's about to say and bites his tongue. So the stories are true. That place really is... Meowsers. Don't tell me you got cursed. Worse. I got married. Yeah, forget about it. I'm talking nonsense. Jeremy covers his mouth and tries to muffle a few coughs. Uh, are you alright? You look really pale. Y yeah, I'm fine. Just the stress is starting to get to me, I guess. Don't worry, Jeremy. I hope you find a way out of this mess. All this has to be one mis big misunderstanding. Thanks, I appreciate the effort. Promise that you won't get hurt, alright? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait a second here, you... You floozy? First we're petting the Wendoozy, now we're gonna pet the cat boy? I don't go around petting everybody. What kind of a slut do you think I am? Jeremy pets Jin a few times. <laughs> Turn that frown upside down, Jin. Everything will be fine. Oh, he actually is purring. Look what you're doing, Jeremy. You're leading this poor cat boy on. Jin? Hey, why did you stop? Jeremy pets Jin a few more times. I don't think Wendoos is gonna like this, man. You really are a cotton bar, aren't you? Thank you. Listen, it'd be a waste to let this fine evening go by like this. What do you say? Let's get some tea and talk about the new Arcanus issue. Really? Let's go. Greetings, barkeep. Do you mind if we spend a couple of hours in your pub? <laughs> that's, that's what you do. You normally walk into a bar and this is the first thing you go to the bartender. He's like, hey, do you mind if I sit down here and... Spend some time in your pub while I order a couple of beers. Whoa, a freak show. Fine by me. If you got the coin, that is. Just don't cause any trouble. What will it be? Do you have mint tea by chance? Tea. You come into my pub. And you order tea? A partner's uh, maybe a warm glass of milk and that's 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 even better, sure. That's it. Pull the lever. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bird. We didn't mean to hit you. Are we at least coming back down to the same place? Oh wait, we're gonna land the hot springs, aren't we? Come on. Please make it happen. Developer, you know you have to do this. Let's land in the hot spring. Jin, are you alright? Uh, I guess so. Let's go! Don't worry, Jin. I've been in these situations many times before. You've been in a hot spring with a bunch of naked chicks before? Damn, Jeremy's got it going on. Whoa. Oh, he thought it was a dream. We'll wake up any moment now. Well, off we go again. Hmm, shame on you, you peeping Tom. I don't think so. They're too awkward to pull that off. Something tells me they messed up at the bar. They probably order something embarrassingly mild like m milk or whiskey. Hey, what's wrong with whiskey? Whiskey? <laughs> yeah, two cups a day keeps the doctor away. In any case, uh, where's the nerd? Seems like you flew off to the northeast. Ada places her, her hand on her heart. Wait a minute. Why didn't I... I can't sense him anymore. D did I die? Wait a minute. I can't feel anything. <laughs> Don't you know it, sister? Moxie, stay here and look after the cat. <laughs> 